really clever. I got everything and then didn't get the paints that I wanted. And I'm going to have a go at just some fluorescent colours that I've got mixed up. Right. These are the colours we've got mixed up. I need the white. I've got a ton of white. And I'm going to put a bit of black in a cup as well. I'm going to put a bit of black in it. Okay. Hi. Right. I'm going to do what I saw on the video the other day. Lady did with a pot. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mix some of these. These colours I have uh, iridescent green, iridescent blue, iridescent orange, which is not very iridescent -y, iridescent red, white, and some black. So I put on some gloves because I always forget to put these gloves on. False advertising these gloves. They're called second skin. Like, yeah, not right. No way there, second skin. Anyway. Anyway. Oops, put your thumb in the right hole. <clears throat> okay, today we're going to be doing a pot smash, I suppose you'd call it. White background, iridescent green, orange, blue and red and just some normal black. So my paints, I've, had, I've got all my paints, they've been mixed up for quite a bit. Get it all on. Ooh, it's very pretty doing this, it's fun. Okay, you can see my bottle's not very clean but anyway. Now I have pre gesso these. Gessoed, primed, pre-primed, that sounds better. Need more paint. <clears throat> this one, my bottle's dirty. I never think about what I'm doing before I do it sometimes. Then this paint has been mixed up for nearly two weeks and it's still full of air bubbles. I don't know, I give up with that. I just don't understand how that can happen. That's how you leave your, oh, yep, okay. But, you know, mix your paints up and everything, and it still bubbles. And I, I didn't, oh, Uh, what's the name of it? I didn't mix it or shake it or anything before I started. I don't think I've got enough. I still don't think I've got enough white on this. I know it looks like a lot, and it is, but there's a reason for it. There is a reason for it. I'm talking to myself again. Sorry, guys. Now, I don't normally do prime my canvases because usually I bright by them. There's where my bubbles are coming from, in it? Um, normally I buy them um, pre-primed, but just lately I've had a little bit of trouble with them. And um, I uh, so I decided I'd just see what happened. I'm using all the same paints, all the same everything. And as usual, I forgot my cloth. Okay. It's really not very great, that, is it? Come on. It should be falling off the edge. Come on. Come on, be nice. That's it. <clears throat> Still not what I'm on, but never mind. Seeing as 
say I really didn't expect to have all those bubbles. I didn't have my torch quite ready. Which is not the greatest thing when you're painting. Okay, so you can get rid of some of these bubbles. Maybe not put your paint near it either. did that there's a bit of carbon build up inside the end of the torch it burned off I've discovered that I took and I went over and spoke to them the wonderful paint people and told me that's what's wrong with it so now we know I'll have to clean that in a minute probably burned it off I'll show you I don't know whether you can see but if you look right in there there's a little bit of black and that's the carbon that's on the end of that white bit. I think that's what's done it. Right. I've got to tell you, this is not quite looking what I wanted. It doesn't seem to be, the white just doesn't seem to be flowing. Didn't really want to make it any, what, anything. I can fix the, I can fix the edges up, um, the sides up later. It's more the top I'm concerned about at the moment, making sure I've got enough around the edges because this is not going to be tipped. Okay? Right. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> no, actually, I'm going to put these. In the reverse order of the way I do them in a flip cup. In the flip cup, I put the heaviest first and then the lightest. But this way, because I want the colours to go through each other, I'm putting the lightest first, right? So the lightest colour in this is the um, orange. Oh, that's not running, is it? We're supposed to be able to mix your paints ahead and they're supposed to run really nicely. Definitely needs more water. That's not going to work. I'll have to, sorry guys, a bit longer for this video. Oh well, the universe wanted orange there. It's got orange there. That'll do for that one. Let's go with the, put some stuff in the red. The red's going to be my last colour that I'm going to put on. You see, I don't know why I bother mixing ahead of time. I really don't. It's a bit thick still. Okay, anybody know the reason your paint sits and thickens? Bloat if I know. That's better. This one's going to be green, but I may as well I'll do the blue and that as well. I'll mix it up. Sorry, I'm probably miles off your screen. I forgot. Oops. That was, but anyway. Ugh. Come on, guys, what's the matter with you? Getting a lumpy sign, isn't it? Not lumpy, just clunk bunky. You've got to put the video up if you go past this part really quickly. Hmm. 
I'm not really happy with that either. No, oh, well, get more paint out of me mix. Shouldn't really won't, won't be doing that, should it? Don't have a fit. I don't use, I only use paint and water. Really annoyed that I should have checked these all before I started this, but I didn't think it'd go that thick. Really, really didn't. Oh well, it's all the learning experience. Okay, so green's our next one. That's a bit better, isn't it, than that clunky? When we go with blue, probably blue and green, the old saying should never be seen without a colour in between. Here's our red. Can you see the difference? Much better, isn't it? <laughs> black. A little bit of black. Let's go again with some orange. Here we go, green. Interesting. Whoa! <laughs> Sounds weird when you, I know whether you guys can hear it, but just another tiny bit of black. Okay. Now, mate, just an ordinary flat bottom can. And she went like this. And then. Okay, <clears throat> a bit more colour in some of these. Okay, beautiful bottom of the pot, look at it. Wipe my pot off so... <clears throat> Okay, so she didn't tip, but I'm going to. This looks like it needs tipping to me. I love the way the iridescent colours are going. Pretty, but it needs a little something. Yeah, and this is now completely non non like the um, video. What am I looking for? Cool.
Oops. That would have been fun. I'm not sure I like this colour combo. Let's give her a tip. <laughs> okay. You need some white around the edges. These few spots on the edges that are not not entirely happy with. Well, you know, don't you? That'll all run off, hopefully. Actually, it's not bad. It'll grow on me. I would have liked a bit more... Sorry, stop talking when I'm concentrating. <laughs> Uh, I would have liked a bit more colour, but then again, I suppose that's sort of kind of part of it, isn't it? That All right, take my gloves off because they're annoying me. Okay, oops. <clears throat> See, dirty. That's why I only wear a this sort of clothing for doing this. Some of these edges are going to need fixing. Just the sides. Sides are not fantabulous, but. <clears throat> Let's try this torch again, see if I can't burn us down again, shall we? burn it this time. So I'm going to stick my head in the way so I want to have a look. Got some little spots in it that I just want to touch up. Finger touching up? Yep. No gloves? Yep. See what else we got in here. Just have a couple of spots where I feel the white's just a bit light on. 
still got bubbles in this. I might have to get that torch again and give it another go. Okay, don't go around the other side. Excuse me. Hopefully, I don't get my big fat head in your view. Obviously, this is very, seems to be very sparse here. The base that's more of my problem than anything else. I'm actually quite liking. Oh, got an eagle in there. Yep. Okay, I'm going to have to torch again. There's a lot of air bubbles in this. quite liking it <clears throat> let me just check more I'm just sorry about the top of the head but I have to check on to check the air bubbles and spots that I think need fixing apologies god it looks like there's a ton of air bubbles in this annoying. I don't like to over torch you because I've over torched a couple of paintings and wrecked them. That'll do. <clears throat> Actually, it doesn't matter. It really is nice. Okay. Excuse me, guys. You're going to get dizzy for a minute. All right. I'm going to bring you down. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's see if we can focus. Oh, maybe I should get my fat, hand, fat hands out of the way. Okay, so this there's my eagle. We haven't really got a lot of the cells forming as I thought they would. Um, there are some forming. Not that I'm really worried. I don't really care about whether I, we get huge amounts of cells. I don't know whether you guys can get that metallic-y look that these iridescent colours that I made have got. Those colour combinations I used are giving us some extremely different colours. This is the one in the middle. Bits of white through it have changed the composition a little. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm trying to get in to give, see if I can get you guys the... Well, how beautifully metallic it looks. Wow, 23, nearly 24 minutes. Whoa. Mind you, I did have to remix my paint, some of my paints. I love the effect of there. Hard to see, I know. Oops, sorry. This is quite pretty, quite delicate down in here and have a look i think this is going to change quite a bit how is that little blob i had it looks like a claw <laughs> grandson would love it he's into all that type of thing now you've got a few little cells see forming on here that almost looks like a bird in a tree that one. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'll zoom out again. See if I can get the whole thing in for you. That's from this side. I'll go around this side. And have a look at it from this angle. I think I quite like it from the other angle, actually. Yeah. Okay. 
that's it. I'll come back in a little while and see what it's done. Bye.